G'day folks and welcome to Jordan's Hole. G'day everyone. This waterway or this little swampy area is called Jordan's Hole. When I was a kid I used to come out here fishing at Jordan's Hole and I'd catch a lot of redfin. A few years ago I stood on that bank over there and I sounded it out with my Deeper Pro Plus fish finder and I made a video called and called it Sounding Out Jordan's Hole. But anyway I've been here three or four times lately and there's not a redfin to be seen. I don't know whether they've all gone perhaps and dried up and they died and then got a little bit of water back in it or for whatever reason I don't know but it's uh it's no good for redfin fishing anymore apparently if it was you would have seen it on my channel so today I've come out here with my yabby nets and I'm going to put some yabby nets in and see how I go I've got my old faithful collapsible bait traps this one's actually in its collapsed position right now uh I'll uncollapse it with one hand maybe not there we go I've got my two collapsible bait traps. I've got the Coles dog food. I actually don't like this. I prefer Goodos. I bought this to try it so it was half the price of Goodos. But it turns to mush in here and it's actually quite hard to get out. The Goodos, Goodos stay a lot more solid inside the yard than nets. I prefer Goodos, but I've still got a stack of them so I'll be using them for a while. But once they're gone, I'll get Goodos again. Anyway, collapsible bait traps, Jordan's Hole, Coles El Cheapo dog food. I don't like my chances, I, just, I don't know, I just don't think it looks like a very good yabbying spot but I've been wrong in the past so let's go and see if I can uh, be wrong again and hopefully catch stacks of yabbies Yeah, as I was saying before these coals, dry dog food, this cheap stuff it turns to mush in here not straight away but after you leave it in overnight when you go to get it out you've nearly got to scoop it out whereas with the uh Whereas with the good o's, they just fall out because they, they stay solid, they stay sort of much firmer. And this is the Kmart now, I'm not a big fan of this one. I just don't like this bait system, and uh, I like having the bait at the top on that one there. Then again in saying that, I do pull that net up a lot and find yabbies sitting on top of the net. And that might be why, because the bait pouch might be floating up and the yabbies can get to it from the outside, I really don't know. Anyway, they're both just about baited and ready to go. I don't know what that is. This particular area where I am now was mined for gold very heavily many years ago. So that's probably just some kind of relic from a, uh, this hole might actually be an old mine of some kind. I really don't know. Yeah, how deep's that? It's actually sunk down quite deep. I reckon that's in about three or four feet. I might just bring it out a little bit closer to the edge. About there, I reckon. I reckon it's in about two, two and a half feet of water there. Net number two, I'll strategically place over here where it's a lot snaggier. The other net's over that side. So I'll put this one over here. There's a bit more leaf litter and snags and stuff here. More places for the yabbies to hide. Right now, now both nets are in. One's in just down here, the other one's in over there. This is another yabby reconnaissance mission or another yabbying adventure. Another trial and error yabbying adventure. Cherax destructors, get in my nets. <laughs> Rightio folks, it's the morning after. Morning has broken. There's a rabbit running around over there. There he goes. Pretty sure the GoPro won't pick that up, but he's just casually running across the... Uh... Imagine if I could shoot him and then catch a couple of dozen yabbies. A feed of fresh rabbit and yabbies. What a combination. Anyway, the moment of truth. Is... Jordan's Hole a worthwhile yabbying destination. I don't like my chances, to be quite honest. Oh my god, father! Boy, was I wrong! Have I got a feed here? They actually look like they're not bad size, too. 
looks like there's quite a few in here and not, they're not huge typical black swamp yabbies they're actually they're, they're great yabbies look one two three four five six seven you really got me that one eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen 18 18 really nice size edible yabbies not one with eggs you'll notice i look underneath every single one 18 really nice size yabbies not one with eggs all from the first net wow is this my very first yabbying jackpot video you'll notice last year i used the word jackpot in a couple of uh a couple of titles i've hit the jackpot this time folks this is going to be the best feed of yabbies that i've had all year and even if there's nothing in the other net, this is the most successful yabbying trip that I've had this summer. I am super pumped. I can't wait to go and check that second net. Now the second net's over there near that tree, but because of the rough ground, I'm going to leave me bucket here. If there's any yabbies, I'll carry them back. Right on net number two. What the hell's happened here? <laughs> These Kmart nets are not nearly as good as the other nets. So I hate these nets. The bait pouch has come open and there is one yabby in it. I kid you not. One yabby. Right, and have a look at this. I've caught one yabby and a heap of minnows. It's not as big as a lot of the others, but it'll do. But this pouch has come open. I'll take the gopher off my head. Look, that bait pouch has come open. There's bait everywhere. I really don't like these nets. This came from Kmart in Wangaratta. The other net, where is over there? The other nets with a little pouch at the top are much better, and you can still get them at Adventure Camping and Fishing in Wangaratta for about $7.50. I'm so going up to Adventure Camping and Fishing this week to buy another one. I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw this one in the bin. It's just, I don't know, like last time I went out Yabby and I caught nothing. You know, in the last two outings, this net has caught one Yabby as opposed to 36 in the other net with exactly the same bait. No, sorry came up, but these nets suck. You want the ones with the little zip pouch at the top and the funnels that are a little bit more steeper sided. I can tip some water out for the journey home. Whee. Look at that. Eighteen great big yabbies, you little beauty. Well, folks, I was disappointed that I only caught uh, one yabby in the second net, but on the whole, this has been super successful. I've got nineteen decent-sized yabbies there, so I've got I've got you know twenty odd really nice yabbies for a feed. I'm absolutely stoked. I'm not going to be able to film a cooking video because I've actually got to go to a meeting with the Make a Wish Foundation in a couple of hours. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take these straight home, chuck them in some boiling water, cook them up, put them in the fridge and go to my meeting. And then I'll eat them later. So no, no cooking video this time, but a, uh, a yabby reconnaissance jackpot. I am staked. Thanks very much for watching. If you've liked this video, you want to give me a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and hopefully you'll join me on my next fishing or yabbying adventure.